Yes, sir! Dallas Mavericks news, boys. The Mavericks want these two players in free agency, boys. So how do I know this, boys? First of all, one of the players is a player that we've all known for quite some time now, and that's John Collins, boys. This has been news that's been reported for a while now that the Mavericks tend to offer... John Collins from the Atlanta Hawks, a quite large offer in free agency, boys. If you don't know who John Collins is, he plays for the Atlanta Hawks. He's a power forward slash center. He's an athletic big that's versatile. He can shoot the three a little bit. He's a 37% three-point shooter. He's very athletic. He's a dunker. He's a lob threat. As I said, he can shoot. He can finish. He can defend pretty well on the perimeter as well as in the paint. So he's an all-around kind of like Swiss Army knife type of player. So it's been reported for a while that the Mavericks want John Collins. But it just came out yesterday, reported by Mark Berman of the New York Post, that another player has emerged as a free agent target for the Dallas Mavericks. This player, it makes a lot of sense for the Mavericks, and we're going to get straight into it, boys. So who is the player? The player is Mitchell Robinson from the New York Knicks, boys. Mitchell Robinson. Dallas Mavericks will have their eye on Mitchell Robinson should he become a free agent this summer or or next summer. It depends on what the Knicks decide to do with him as the Knicks have a team option on Mitchell Robinson that they can use or they can choose not to use. If they choose to use it, he'll become a free agent next year. If they choose not to use it, he'll become a free agent this year. So the Mavericks will have their eye on what the Knicks do with Mitchell Robinson as they would like to get him. So who is Mitchell Robinson, boys? That's a good question. Mitchell Robinson is a seven foot one rim protector, rebounder, shot blocker, and lob threat, boys. Um, what can I say about Mitchell Robinson? His free throw percentage is not the best, but it has been improving every single year. He's been in the league for three seasons. His free throw percentage has improved each and every year. His fouls and turnovers have decreased every single year. And his, his field goal percentage is quite nice. He shoots about 62% from the field as all of his points come from really just alley-oops and dunks. He's not much of a shooter. He's really just your main rim protector, lob threat type of guy. Perfect guy to fit alongside a guy like Luca. But let's continue about Mitchell. So Mitchell, for this season, he averaged eight points, eight rebounds, and 1.5 blocks on six shots per game, playing about 28 minutes per game. These are decent numbers for a guy that's not a main part of the offense. They more keep him for his defense and the lob threat, as I said. So this guy, Mitchell Robinson, he's a great young player. I think he's only about 23 years old around that age so he's going to be out for the rest of the season due to the fact that he fractured his right foot so he just underwent surgery so he's going to be out for the rest of the season but what does this news mean for the Mavericks boys let's talk about what this means for the Mavericks boys a couple things a couple things are obvious to me when I hear this news it tells me that the Mavericks are looking for reliable front court help to play alongside Luka and KP and to back up KP in the front court this free agency that's what the Mavericks are looking for guys when he come to guys like John Collins and Mitchell Robinson both these guys are big men that are also lob threats so that tells me that they're looking for an athletic big man that can be used as a lob threat for a guy like Luka Doncic who penetrates penetrates the the paint so well if he had a lob threat it would just make him that more effective on his penetrations give him the option to throw that ball for alley-oop or kick it out for the three as he often does they just got JJ Redick JJ Redick's gonna be able to hit those threes for Luka so it's those are good pickups all in all but well, I'm telling you what this news means for the Mavericks is they're looking for reliable front court help they want to add an athletics uh, an athletic big man or an athletic power forward that can play alongside KP and Luka and it makes sense boys for Mitchell Robinson um, his value, according to Bobby Marks, he's like the NBA cap guru. According to Bobby Marks, his value is probably somewhere in the $10 million per year range, something like that. Maybe like a three or four year, $10 million per year deal could get it done. That's not very expensive, boys. That's less than they're paying Dwight Powell. And this guy would play a much better, be a much better fit with Luka than a guy like Dwight Powell because he is seven foot one, is a true rim protector and rebounder. So I think it's a perfect fit for a guy like Luka. Um, and for John Collins, he just turned down this season, uh, before the season started, actually during free agency, he turned down an extension with the Hawks, a $90 million extension. So if the Mavericks want to sign John Collins, they're going to have to pay him a number near like maybe $23 million per year, something like that. He is looking for near max money, but he's not a near max guy. John Collins, I'm not that big of a fan of paying this guy max money. I think he's a great player and could fit well with Luka, but I'm not a fan of paying him that much money. I think there are better options available. Anyways, boys, just wanted to share that news 
games with you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you click the like button and, like button and subscribe to the channel, boys. All right, peace. New NBA videos every week.